Hello and welcome to GMAX Studios. I am your friendly neighborhood photographer Omkar Kochrekar and today I will be showing you how to do light painting. So photographers, if you want to do light painting, first you need to understand what long exposure photography is and you need to understand the combination of shutter speed, ISO and aperture. These three things are very important in long exposure photography and light painting. So photographers who have no idea about long exposure photography, please watch our video episode number 6 on our main channel GMAX Studios. The link is given in the description below. How shutter speed affects our pictures and how we can use it to get more creative control over the photographs that we take. So I'm doing photography and cinematography from last 6-7 years and it's slightly difficult to try new things and uh, few months back only I was introduced to famous photographer Eric Pare. He's a Canadian photographer based in Quebec. I was really impressed by his work and I was so motivated and I wanted to try uh, light painting. I have done light painting in my college days but it's like uh, six seven years back but from last four five years i haven't uh, shot any long exposure photographs or video so this was the right time to try long exposure photography and light painting together and i just decided key i need to do this and once your long exposure concept is clear in your mind you can start doing light painting so for this you need a tripod you need a camera the camera can be an APS-C camera or a full frame camera, any camera will work. I have used a tube uh, which was suggested by Ashish Kamle. So this is the intersection point. Follow this intersection point, okay? And the hand is heavy, and the light is heavy. the intersection point, you can get this tube anywhere and there are there are uh, products specially made for uh, light painting but I don't want to spend money in this. I wanted to do DIY kind of thing and this is the tube which I have used and this is a small torch. It's named as small sun. It's on. So this is the torch which I have used. And I've also used the aperture light. It's a LED light. It has two battery packs. In this you can change your Kelvin. I think it's it's nice. It's tungsten. This is daylight. You can also uh, dim the intensity. And I have also used the Yongno light. It's Yongno YN362. In this you can change the Kelvin from 3 to 255. And it's on 5.5, five. you can also dim it down. You can increase it. You can change from tungsten to daylight. In this also you have RGB, reds, greens, blue. It's not that costly, it's around 6,000, 7,000 bucks. All the products uh, used in this video, you can buy it online and the links are given in the description below. So first we decided to go to Badlapur. Uh, it's a photography friendly place. Uh, it's very difficult to shoot in Mumbai until unless you have money to pay for the location. So guys, uh, we are uh, trying a long exposure shot and we are creating few lights and we have a B10 uh, in that we are using tungsten, it's on minimum power 
I'm getting an exposure of uh, 4 seconds f2.8 ISO 1250 and that's a 2470 f2.8 G Master series and it's on a Sony A9. So you light off. Yes. Ready? Light off. On. We reached the location slightly late and I had few shots in my mind and I was not happy with the shots. So when we came back to the studio, I saw the photographs on the bigger screen. It's always good to judge your photograph, whether your photograph is good or not, by after seeing it on a bigger screen. And uh, I was not happy with the shot and I was depressed and uh, it was a first try. And But I decided I want to give up one more shot. And then we plan to go to Thani. <laughs> Guys, uh, here we are going to uh, give a try for long exposure photography and light painting. So basically now I am using a Sony A9 uh, with a 2470 uh, G Master Series f2.8 lens and I am just seeing the block and I am just seeing the ambient exposure right now. So the first thing which I did was blocking the frame and taking the ambient exposure. After taking the ambient exposure, I got to know the intensity of ambient light. Okay. Uh -huh. This is your center. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So just see that this is your center. Okay. So your heart is Right? Asa. And then... Go. Okay. Okay. Then I used Yongno light which is going to be in circular shape behind the subject. Then I used the continuous light function of the Pro Photo B10 and painted the face. And then I painted the ground. Hey, pass me right there, like them. Okay, Saisha, ready? No blinks in the light and Shailu, yes. Perfect, thank you. Amazing. Thamal. Ready guys? So we are on 8 seconds F stop F5 ISO 80. Ready? Chalo, out frame. Okay, ready? Shalu. Shreyas. Foxy. 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 Somebody who's never done anything like this, it was amazing. I think the whole team, including you, y'all have been very amazing with all your ideas. I've never seen anything like this. And being a part of this, for me, is a great experience. Okay, cool, cool. So as we came back to the studio and we saw the photographs on bigger screen and I was really happy with the photographs and I was not able to control myself and I want to shoot more. And then we decided to shoot in the crowded place, Mumbai. The 
first thing I did was attaching the tube to the torch by using gaff tape. To increase the intensity of the tube, I used tracing paper and inserted in the tube. That's the positional side. Okay. okay. This, if this is the camera, yeah. this way. Okay. So look this way. Even after using the tracing paper to increase the intensity, the light was not enough. In marine lands area, the ambient light was too harsh. Take one, one more again with this posture. Huh? Are you happy with the posture? I'm really happy with the posture. I am happy with the posture. Cool. So I slowed down the speed of rotation of the tube so that the camera sensor will absorb more light. And after seeing such results, I was not able to stop myself and the whole GMAX team went to Nanigat. Nanigat is 100 kilometers from Mumbai and we created few great shots. So guys, uh, we are uh, just having a Reiki, it's uh, I think 3 o'clock, uh, 3.30 in the night and we have uh, more 2 hours to shoot. Let's go! I would love to use this historical architecture. This frame will be very sexy and behind it will come a little bit of stars, so I will be able to go low also. This angle. Okay, so we can paint it a little bit with lights. Let's start. So this time I'm using Fujifilm X-T3. It has a APS-C sensor. So I wanted to take this photograph to the next level. So what I did was I used three lights. One behind the subject that is the tube and one on face and one on the rock. Tilt up Bharat. Tilt up. Bas. Shall you tilt up? Bas. Ready? Watch up please. And light off. Shreyas! Varad! Off! Chalu! Off! Freeze! 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 Kya posture tha yaar! Chumma! So photographers, it's not that difficult, it's easy. You just need to understand your sensor and the combination of shutter speed, ISO and aperture. So just go out, take your camera, take few lights and create some great stuff. To watch more videos about photography and filmmaking, please subscribe to our channel GMAX Studios and I will see you in the next video. Till then, hasta la vista.